So this next song, little story. Well, actually, it's a really a very big story, but I'll make it a short story. Um, so when I first did Belladonna, we had pretty much me and Wadi and Jimmy Iovine and Sharon. We had pretty much finished Belladonna, and um, Jimmy came to me one day and said, um, and Jimmy was my boyfriend at that point too. So Jimmy comes to me and says, uh, "You don't have a single on your record," and I said. <laughs> what does that mean? And he said, well, it's just about being commercial. You're not really, you know, you're not, <laughs> you're not the most commercial person in the world. He said, you don't have a single, and just take my word for it. And we have a friend, a very good friend, who would love to give you, maybe not love, but sort of like to give you this song that he wrote, and uh, I think you should take it. And me, in my arrogantness, said, but, so that means one of the songs we've recorded is going to have to go. And he says, yes, that's what it means. Um, and he said, but if it doesn't go and you don't have a single, what's going to happen is your record's going to tank and then you're not going to have a solo career. And I'm like, cool, that sucks. <laughs> so I said, okay, so anyway, the song, of course, this is really how totally arrogant I was being on this day, was written by Tom Petty. And not only was it written by Tom Petty, but Tom Petty was had already recorded it and was going to sing it with me. So I, I went, I said, all right, I went home and I thought, you've got to drop this selfish thing you got going on right now. And realized that the whole reason you even hired Jimmy Iovine was because he produced Tom Petty and you always wanted to be in, in Tom Petty and the Heartbreakers. Tom wants to give you a song and sing it with you. I said, okay, I'll do it. So anyway, Stop Dragging My Heart became a huge single, all because Mr. Tom Petty was generous enough to give me that song. So this is Stop Dragging My Heart Away.
Center, after this is over, we'll take our comedy act on the road. We can add her to our comedy act. Well, this next story uh, was written somewhere around probably 1950s. 